we could do is sit in the sun a little bit. Would you like that? For the first 43 years of marriage, these high school sweethearts grew up together. There are countless pictures of raising four children, living in the governor's mansion, the joy of grandkids. You have to let go of the first Elaine in order to be a caregiver for your second Elaine. For some 12 years, Marty and Elaine Schreiber have faced a painful, exhausting plunge into the heartaches of Alzheimer's disease. Now Elaine will point out the same flower day after day. Okay. Another day she might think Marty is her dad. She cannot read to her grandkids. You've had a lot of jobs in your life. You've been a governor, you've, been, runs the, you've run a company, you have been a caregiver. I mean, how do they compare all these well, nothing compares with being a caregiver. In his new book, My Two Elaines, written together with Kathy Brighton Butcher, Marty hopes to encourage caregivers to stop thinking they can go it alone. They must get as much help as possible, something he resisted at first. My health was, was going downhill, uh, having difficulty breathing, all kinds of, of issues. And finally, be, because of Elaine making that call, I was able to understand the need to get help. They turned to the Alzheimer's Association of Southeastern Wisconsin. Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. And out of the top 10 killers, it's the only one that can't be prevented, it can't be treated, it can't be slowed, certainly can't be cured. Most of the support groups are for caregivers. The tips and the tricks, just the um, emotional support of knowing that someone's in the same boat as you can, can make a huge difference. If you understand the disease, you can avoid a, a, a significant amount of the pain and heartache that comes with the disease because you know the brain is broken. Here we go. One of his toughest challenges was moving Elaine to a care facility. A counselor made him understand it would allow her to be who she is now. And there was no way that I could operate a 24-7 nursing care facility. And so now Elaine is, is, is in, a, in a setting with assisted living and, and she's more relaxed, she's more comfortable. Mm -hmm. I now can get a decent night's sleep and spend more time with the grandkids and children. Now 77, he visits almost daily and hopes he will get another dance with the Elaine he fell in love with when they were 14 years old. <laughs> Forty-three years with his first Elaine, twelve with his second. And you can learn more from the Alzheimer's Association of Southeastern Wisconsin. The chapter is open 24-7 and they have a helpline. It is 1-800-272-3900.